for a lot of time, beauty companies, wellness companies have been marketing to a very specific consumer, which is somebody between the ages of 18 to 45. But I think increasingly that is changing where older women are a part of the conversation as well as, as they should be. Um, and I think it's fascinating to, to watch that dynamic evolve. When you look back at history, it's actually um, been been populated by a lot of really successful female founders. You know, let's not forget Mrs. Estee Lauder um, or Helena Rubinstein or um, Mrs. Mary Kay. I mean, these are people who have created brands years, decades ago that still live with us to this day, uh, even though, um, you know, their, their businesses and their brands have moved on a lot i think it's uh there's a it's a, there's a great sense of perspective that can probably be gained by how those women created their brands built their businesses and the legacies they've left um that is is now being balls being picked up by some of these younger women who are creating their own businesses and i think we're at a very interesting inflection point right now where we've got a lot of women led women founded wellness brands that you know, we're still in the very early days, probably inning number one, um, in terms of the amount of investment that's going into that sector. And Wendy and I are incredibly passionate about working with those founders and helping them secure capital such that their brands can continue to grow and thrive and be part of the story, you know, 10 to 15 years from now.